Finley, and it turns it into a two-on-one chance the other way. Kyle Thomas, right wing side, into the zone, and that shot was blocked on the way in by Vincent Dunn. And he'll work it back to the far side boards. Oh. And now tipped ahead. Here's the loss zone. A two-on-one with Marcotte up the left wing to the far circle. Still looking. Goes to the oh. backhand. And he scores! Alexis Wazo with a terrific move. Looked like he was going to pass that sack, and he decided to just do it himself. It's one nothing, Wichita. That was a beautiful goal. That will be on the ECHL highlights of the week. He's, he looked past the whole way. Back the other way, Shastman. He's got a breakaway. If he hurries, gets to the slot. A shot. A goal save. Made rebound. Jets just went over the net. After Brennan made the initial save. That rebound went to the slot, Jason, and it was skied over the crossbar. That was a great blocker save by Grenham. Now the other way. Here's a chance for Logan Nelson to the net. He scores! Went to his backhand. 3% on the power play. They have scored 10 power play goals. Here's a steal by Alexis Loiseau in this neutralized area. Up the right wing. He's got a breakaway to the Hasbro. Shoots. He scores! Stick handling move in the crease, and he beat Hartzell. Short-handed goal for Wichita. It's 3-0. Breakaway chance. It looks like he went five hole on the Fort Wayne goaltender and makes it a three nuts it out to Sitlowski, and that was blocked on the way in. And now a three on two for Wichita. Holmberg able to gain the line. He's got a trailer, plays it to the far face off dot, one timer, and Tatchell scores. Blake Tatchell, his first goal as a professional. The Thunder go up four nothing. What a play by the roommates. <laughs> It was a shot block on one end, Jason, and then Holberg moving up the ice was able to find Blake Tatchell and the Thunder take a 4-0 lead. And you got to wonder if this will be it for Eric Hartzell. See if the Thunder can sustain it here for 60 minutes. Jason Binkley, and he turns it over. Logan Nelson able to skate away in a breakaway net to Hasberg. He goes up for glove and scores to make it 5-0 Wichita. T-Sync in the neutral zone. Puck gets cleared in behind the net. Now a penalty coming up here on Martin Nemcic as he caught, I believe that was Garrett Thompson with a high stick, and now some pushing and shoving in behind the net. And you had a feeling this uh -oh. was going to happen, but a little bit later than I thought it was going to as Oslansky, that is Cheek throwing punches with the linesman. As, as Munson was, I don't know, kind of went to the blue line for a bit. I don't know if he was trying to get Grinham to do something, but... What smart play by Grenham not to even acknowledge him. But Cheek will not stop throwing punches. And now Garrett Thompson in there. Cody Soldown from his defensive position having a word with Martin Nemsick. Nemsick not wanting to go with him. Those two are just standing and talking with each other. And Cody Soul was trying to get Nemsick to start and drop the mitts and nothing coming. Thunder going to be called for a penalty here. Well, there's the initial penalty, but I wonder what Fort Wayne's going to get. Well, Sidlowski's still trying to start, and now he drops his gloves. And I can't tell who he's on the end wall with. Is that is that Oslansky? That is Landon Oslansky back there. Now Cody Soule oh, and wow. Ryan Tsink. Things are getting out of hand all while, down there. All while the referees are right in the middle of this, and guys are still throwing punches. Nemcic has a bear hug on Cody Soul. The referee is telling Soul to stop. T-Sync will skate away from the pile. I wouldn't be surprised if Fort Wender of the year at that level. Here's Sidlowski into the slot. He lifts a wrist shot over the crossbar. So Wichita shorthanded five on four penalty. There's a rebound off a shot. Another chance on that. It's Scott Grenham pulling that one out of the air from Desjardins. And keeps the puck out of the net to stop the. Blake turns ah. it over on the long outlet pass. Up ahead. There's a chance walking into the zone. That's a ah. play across to the near side of the net. Friedman scores. And then going after Trekapelli and Oslansky is Mason Baptista after the Comets get on the board at 5.39 of the second. Mason Baptista unhappy with James Melindy after the play, and I didn't see exactly how that's... Good play by Vincent Dunn to stay on it. 
And now move to the near side boards. Lift it out to the red line. Now a two-on-one Cazola up the left wing. He's got a man open and coming across with Scott Grenda with a terrific save with a leg pad. And it's cleared back to our right all the way down. What a save there by defensive play there by Wichita's Martin Nemcic. Another chance in front of the net Gosh. and the Comets capitalize. That's Garrett Thompson, actually Jamie Shasma going upper glove on Scott Grenham after Grenham made two really nice saves and then Nemcic was forced to go to the bench because he lost his helmet and that allowed hard check by Sidlowski. Big hit there by Logan Nelson on the near side on Baptista as he lit him up. And now to the slot, oh. oh, pass on the back door, Soul to Sidlowski and this has quickly become more of a hockey game than it should be. It's a five to three Thunder advantage. Five power play chances tonight, and off the faceoff, clear to the corner, and the horn sounds, and Wichita wins here this afternoon, knocking off the Fort Wayne Comets by the final score of five to three. Scary, uh, scary.